Yo, in today's video, we'll be looking at scary and creepy TikToks that you should not watch before bed. If you have one of these five names, then I'm sorry for you. I hope you don't have one of these names, but if you know someone who does, you should share this video with them as a warning. It has indeed been proven that these names attract spirits ten times more than usual, both good and very bad ones. Before I give you the names, please be aware that I can only protect my subscribers who have shared, commented, and watched the video until the end. You heard that, right? Did you know that by clicking on share and then on WhatsApp, the second person that appears secretly loves you? In fifth place, we have the name Emma, which attracts good spirits. The fourth name that gets a lot of spiritual visits is Emily. In third place, there's the name Leo, which is visited by many spirits. In second place, the name Olivia is one of the worst names, perhaps mm. for bringing a spirit into one's home. Before revealing feeling the top spot, comment your name like and share this video. The name that brings the most spirits is Noah. Mm. There are five other names that are not good for welcoming spirits. If there are enough comments and likes, maybe I could save you, but for now, it's really not certain. Who is the headless right, woman in cut. red of Birdcage Walk? This is St. James Park, named after a 13th century leper hospital dedicated to St. James the Less. It is the oldest of the royal parks in London and is also haunted by the lady in red. Legend has it that in the 18th century, a soldier from the Coldstream Guards, the oldest army regiment in Britain, lured his wife to St. James's Park under the guise of affection, only to murder her in cold blood. But his heinous act didn't end there. Gripped by madness, he severed her head from her lifeless body and was looking to dispose of her remains in the park lake, but as he moved to cast her body into the murky depths, he was spotted and stopped by other members of his regiment. Since that fateful night, Birdcage Walk has been haunted by the spectre of the headless woman, her form draped in a tattered red dress stained with the blood from her untimely demise. She is most commonly sighted making her eerie journey from cockpit steps all the way towards the lake. Do you feel any ghostly apparitions? Yes. Okay. <laughs> this is undoubtedly the most horrifying execution method in human history, the Iron Maiden. This tall, coffin-like structure was studded with sharp spikes on the inside. Victims would be forced to stand upright inside, facing the spikes, but the real horror began when the doors slowly closed. As the two doors... <laughs> Just imagine if that was the crime. I mean, the punishment for all crime right now. Yo, no one would do anything. I sure wouldn't. I wouldn't even run a yellow light. I'm stopping shut the person inside would be impaled by the spikes but not deeply enough to cause immediate death mm. instead the victim would be trapped in a claustrophobic space pierced in several places bleeding and in excruciating pain the psychological torment of waiting knowing that any movement could drive the spikes deeper made the experience even more agonizing mm. adding to its horror some versions of the iron maiden had spikes designed to pierce the eyes ensuring that the last thing the victim saw before being enclosed was the instrument of their impending doom. I mean, Though its actual historical usage is debated, the mere concept of the Iron Maiden stands as a testament to the dark creativity of torture methods from the past. Can you survive your birth month? January has ghost face. Nine times out of ten, it's just a normal person and probably somebody you know, you should be good. February is Jason Voorhees, and I'm gonna be honest, Jason Voorhees is an undead demon, and he will follow you to the ends of the earth to hunt alive you. You're done. March has Chucky, everybody's favorite doll. And I'm gonna be honest, I've made the jokes before, just kick him. If he's running at you with a knife or something, it's probably gonna be kinda hard, especially because he always comes back. I'm gonna go with about a 50-50 chance you survive. April has a girl from the ring, all you have to do is just not watch the tape. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. May has Leatherface, just a normal guy, kinda crazy, but just don't pick up a hitchhiker and you'll be fine. June has Pennywise. Now I'm not talking comic Pennywise, I'm just talking normal movie Pennywise. You can just bully him. It'll be fairly simple. July has Billy the Puppet. The last time I checked, Billy the Puppet just delivers the voice recording so that you can hear to play your game. You should be fine if you get Billy. August has Jeepers Creepers. Buddy comes back every 23rd spring. Just make sure you're not in town. September has Pinhead. Just don't open the box and you'll be fine. October has Michael Myers. Kinda undead, pretty scary. Can't really do much damage to him. Try and run. November has Freddy Krueger. I'm gonna say, gotta stay awake. Bring him to the real world, pack him out. December, my month has Valak. I don't mess with the ghost. I'm done. This man was preparing food when he suddenly saw a very creepy silhouette. So he decides to take a closer look at the creature he saw in his fridge. But he's going to regret checking it out. The rest of the video is really creepy. So if you're easily frightened, scroll past it. If you're still here, you should know that I can only protect my subscribers who have shared, commented, and watched the video until the end.
Did you know that if you click on share and then on more and a blue radio app appears, it means your phone is being tracked by someone? I did not know that. Pinasok ng lalaking ito ang isang abandonadong bahay na kung saan ito ang kanyang nakunan ng video. Isang matandang babae ang nakasuot ng kulay puti na belo. Kapansin-pansin din ang kanyang muka na animoy namumula at naaagnas na pagka naka-encounter ka ng ganito ay talagang kikilabutan ka. So what is this uh? There's some crazy stuff on TikTok. Sa isang liblib na lugar naman na ito, nakunan ng video ang isang babae na nakalutang sa ere. Ang nilalang ay... She allegedly killed her boyfriend, then blamed a black man. In January 1996, 22-year-old Christopher Hervey was stabbed to death at 3 in the morning in the Santa Ana, California apartment he shared with his girlfriend, Jade Benning. Benning told authorities that a black male had broken in the home and committed the murder. When Benning was interviewed, she made vague statements about what occurred. She also had a small cut on her hand that she said was from struggling with the killer. Despite their best efforts, police were unsure what occurred that early morning, and the case went cold. Mm. In January of 2020, authorities received an anonymous letter saying that Benning was behind the murder of Hervey. Police looked back at old interviews, conducted new interviews, and did forensic testing on the evidence they had. Police have not released what they found via the forensic testing, but whatever they found was enough to issue a warrant for Benning's arrest in May 2022. She is currently awaiting trial. Before she passed, she hid her expensive valuables and now spends the afterlife searching for them. These are the ghost stories from our own backyard. So sit down, dim the lights as I tell you the story of the lost jewels at Prospect House. Richmond in Tasmania is rich with haunted places and ghost stories from the colonial. Man, I bet Tasmania is haunted. Man, if you look back at the old crimes and atrocities that they committed in Tasmania, a whole people extinct. I'm sure they are haunted. Times. And one of these spooky stories comes from Prospect House that sits on the outskirts of Richmond, a lovely old home that has now been transformed into a countryside accommodation. This building was originally known as Prospect Villa and was built in the early 1830s by convict labour. It was built for James Buscombe, a highly thought of businessman, who already owned several houses as well as the post office, the general store and what is now known as the Richmond Arms Hotel. James Buscombe and his wife Elizabeth Buscombe both lived at Prospect House for a period of time. James eventually passed away in 1851 and his wife Elizabeth in 1860. Prior to Elizabeth's death, rumours have been going around that she hid her jewels out of distrust somewhere at Prospect House. And before she passed, she had become forgetful and lost the location of her precious jewels. There has been many searches conducted, but the jewels remain lost. It is now said that Elizabeth Buscombe spends the afterlife searching for her missing valuables. A woman dressed in period-style clothing and a big, frilly hat has been spotted at Prospect House, possibly looking for something. This mysterious woman has apparently been seen quite frequently on the cellar stairs, sitting down lost in thought, as if she was trying to remember something. It has also been reported that at times she has been seen descending the staircase, looking around and mumbling something to herself. There is even a story of one visitor who swears that they met an elderly lady on the stairs that matches the description of Elizabeth. And they sat down together and talked for a little while, before parting ways. The freaky thing is though, that apparently his last name was Buscombe too. This is the scariest and most terrifying ghost captured on camera. And we're live on TikTok right now at this scary haunted museum ghost hunting, doing some of the scariest solo ghost hunts we've ever done. As you Would you ever do a solo ghost hunt? Nah, man, because if anything ever happened to you, there ain't nobody else there to witness it or to save you or to go down with you, whatever happens. 
You can see it walks into the door and runs up the stairs at a very fast pace, faster than most humans can speed walk, making this capture absolutely groundbreaking. It comes back once again, but this time with something in its hand. Could this be a former worker and or a non-human entity that has been came in contact with before? Believe it or not, this isn't the only ghost captured on camera at this haunted museum. It's been captured on camera playing two notes of the piano that was once played by the former worker who unfortunately passed away and another entity was caught hissing and stomping around while we were alone inside of the building. This TikTok live ghost hunt is going to be the most terrifying one we've ever done. So tune into the live right because with every gift goal we hit, one of us will be alone inside of the building vulnerable to what's inside this new horror film successfully scared the hell out of me numerous times if you like movies like talk to me you're bound to like this film don't be put off by this movie's title it's a fun enjoyable jumpy ass film my name's ricky i love horror movies and this is baghead so baghead Bag is slowly head. starting to gain traction within the horror community i was lucky enough to be sent a screener for this film and it centers around a young woman who is struggling financially when she gets an unexpected call um, letting her know that her estranged dad has recently just passed away and she has inherited this really old creepy pub. What she doesn't know is that the basement of this pub holds a secret and that secret comes in the form of a woman who can communicate with the dead and whoever owns this pub is the only person who can control this woman. She's not allowed to leave the basement. Our lead character is called Iris, and like I said, she's struggling financially, and she sees this as a business opportunity. People turn up with money, asking to see this woman, so they can communicate with somebody that's passed on. That's as far as I'm gonna go in regards to the plot. So the thing that got me the most excited about this film was also the thing that was this movie's biggest fault, in my opinion. This movie stars Peter Mullen, if you don't know who Peter Mullen is by name, he is the guy from Session 9, he's in Train Spotting, he's in Tyrannosaur. He is one of these incredibly underrated actors who appears in a bunch of random films but always steals the show. And this movie uses him very sparingly. Every time he's on camera, every time we hear his voice, we are captivated. And I wanted more of him, I wanted much more of him. Like I mentioned at the beginning, this movie's premise is very... He wants much more of him. Hold on, man. No diddy. Very similar to Talk To Me. And I would be interested in seeing whether this movie was written before Talk To Me and how um, this movie's uh, creators feel about how successful Talk To Me has been. The movie itself isn't a perfect movie. Some of the secondary characters give some shaky performances. I got the feeling that I was watching certain people being directed and acting the way that the director walk on your own. It was really cool. I him what happened, he said, That's crazy, it ain't real. So then I pulled him over to come and see what I found. Hey! It's I'm down here. I'm gonna get stacked up. I have like way better material. Oh, it's like it's right. Oh, like somebody's in the car. I swear to God, I saw somebody in the car. I know this cop tripping. This is some spooky fucking shit right here. Nah, I know he's scared. I'm gonna right call now. this in the sheriff's department. I don't hear the music no more. Like somebody's in the car. Yo. Like somebody's in the car. This is some spooky fucking shit right here. Yeah, that was good. He returns early from his business trip and finds his wife like this.
the biggest coincidence in the world. Abraham Lincoln was elected to Congress in 1846. John F. Kennedy was elected to Congress in 1946. Abraham Lincoln was elected president in 1860. John F. Kennedy was elected president in 1960. Both presidents were shot on a Friday, and both were shot in the head. Both were particularly concerned with civil rights, and both wives lost children while living in the White House. Now it gets really wicked. That's Lincoln's crazy. secretary was named Kennedy. Kennedy's secretary was named Lincoln. Both were assassinated by Southerners, and both were succeeded by Southerners named Johnson. John Wilkes Booth, who assassinated Lincoln, was born in 1839. Lee Harvey Oswald, who assassinated Kennedy, was born in 1939. Both assassins were known by their three names. Both names were composed of 15 letters. Andrew Johnson, who succeeded Lincoln, was born in 1808. Lyndon Johnson, who succeeded Kennedy, was mm. born in 1908. Now let's get serious. Lincoln was shot at the theater named Ford. Kennedy was shot in a car called Lincoln made by Ford. Mm. Lincoln was shot in a theater, and his assassin ran and hid in a warehouse. Kennedy was shot from a warehouse, and his assassin ran and hid in a theater. Booth and Oswald were assassinated before their trials. And here is the best part. A week before Lincoln was shot, he was in Monroe, Maryland. A week before Kennedy was shot, he was in Monroe. But Maryland, mm. if you know what I mean. No way. So if you're watching a TikTok video and you accidentally refresh your page and you can't find that video anymore, just go to your search bar and type dot and search. Click on view your watch history and you'll find each and every video you ever watched on TikTok. You ever noticed why vending machines, there's always a Coca-Cola one and then there's a Pepsi one right beside it. Cool. Have you noticed that? No, I haven't. So if you go to like a stadium, yeah, they usually have one machine Just and then, all for Coke and Pepsi. Yeah, and then another one for like the mm -hmm. Pepsi products. Why? 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 But why would they put it right beside each other? Check this out. Yeah. Because if there's a Coke machine, right? Uh huh. You're in your head. Your thought process is, okay, am I gonna buy a Coke or not? Yeah, yeah. But when you see Coke and Pepsi, the thought process in your head is. Which one will I get? Okay. So you're, you're gonna buy it. It's just which one. Mm. So it changes from, am I gonna buy mm. to which oh. one do I buy? Now, this is real science, fam. This mm. is real, like, marketing science. Mm. Both companies started profiting way more and increased the sales the moment competition was right beside it. Damn. Because it, it no longer mm. became a choice of, am I hungry or not? Am yeah, I thirsty or not? They give you options. It became a, which one do I want? I left my. That's why it's McDonald's and Burger Kings right next to each other everywhere, right across the street. It's a competition, man. Competition is good for business. My 16 month old son alone for 10 days while I went on. This AI stuff is crazy. Like, the fact that this is not a real person talking. I mean, it looks fake, but real at the same time. I don't like these AI videos. Man was getting home from work when this was captured on video. So I'm standing outside right now, and uh, I don't know if y'all can hear that, Whoa. but uh, his right. weird sounds are coming from that tree line. And uh, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I'm I know y'all can hear that. There's no way you can't hear that. Make a wish in the next seven seconds. Now type 1111 and share this to make it true. Remember the solar okay. eclipse that happened in 2017? Yes. The news are like, hey, make sure you wear the right sunglasses because they sell fake sunglasses and don't stare at the sun for too long. Yeah, they fry your eyes. The warnings this time are make sure you have gas in your car. <gasps> what? Make sure you have at least two to three weeks of food and water. Make sure you know where your family's at. So if you need to contact them, make sure you have an AM FM radio. Have a printable map. Oh, and they issued the National Guard to be in these cities during the eclipse. Get your chickens. There's a couple theories. One of my True. theories is that we're going to experience something catastrophic again, yeah. like this Earth opening up. Yeah. And then another theory is then that that's when Russia is going to launch that EMP attack. And then that's why all these billionaires are building bunkers. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Guys, we got to get our acts together. Well, we got till April 8th. Yep, yep. we got it. Three, Three days. days from now. <laughs> Everybody hurry! But I'm not saying that to scare anyone, but I'm scared. Dude, and that's just life, isn't it? Death, am I right, guys? Death, end of the world. Yeah, so I mean, come on. <laughs> Where
He is the first person who sold his soul to the devil. As a young man, Robert Johnson dreamed of becoming a great blues musician, despite being a terrible guitarist. In pursuit of his dreams, he disappeared for a few months and returned to his town and became one of the world's greatest musicians. According to the legend, he sold his soul to the devil at a crossroads, who tuned his guitar and played a few songs before returning it, granting Johnson mastery of the instrument in exchange for his soul. Despite his passion for music, he was willing to set it aside for a family life with his sweetheart, Virginia Travis. However, tragedy struck when neither his wife or child survived the childbirth. Mm. Adding to the sorrow, Virginia's religious relatives accused Johnson of causing the tragedy due to his perceived association with the devil's music. Do never look up the video. The video is very important. I will give you advice in case you encounter one. You have to run as fast as possible to a lit place because they do not like light. And then you must never look them in the eyes, it's very important. This is by far one of the worst work accidents ever and whatever you do, never look up the video. The video that I'm about to explain to you has left many people traumatized so whatever you do, don't go looking for it. The video is pretty short coming in at 52 seconds in length and it's not known where in Russia this took place. And it's a mystery to how this footage made its way onto the internet. As you play the video, you see a man walk towards the lathe machine which he assumes is off. The man is wearing baggy clothes and some kind of jacket, and wearing loose clothing around a lathe machine is a no-no, since it can be sucked up into the machine as this man found out. After the man approaches the machine, he seems to reach over it, but the rotating pole seems to get stuck on one of his sleeves, and it then drags the man into the machine. <clears throat> Initially, it doesn't kill the man, instead it traps his arm around the rotating pole and the machine appears to have stopped. But after a couple seconds, the machine seems to start again and this time dragging the poor man's entire body into the machine, rotating it around and around and around. As his limbs hit the ground after each rotation, you see red mist appear and after a few more seconds, chunks of flesh and body parts start to fly off the machine. A man then walks into the shot and he sees what's happening to his co-worker. And with a look of shock, he quickly turns off the machine, but it was too late. His co-worker's body has been completely torn apart into multiple pieces and the machine is a bloody mess. There are a collection of still images from the aftermath of the incident which shows how unrecognizable the man's body is. In one photo, you see what appears to be a tibia with no flesh around it lying on the ground. And in another photo, you see the victim's severed and crushed head underneath the machine. It's absolutely disturbing and awful to look at. This video is hard to explain and hard to watch. It's extremely gruesome and disturbing, and I really don't recommend looking for it. Here are my not. top do not watch horror movies. Unless you want to be utterly disturbed for some reason. And for my first one, we're going to start off strong with one that left me absolutely speechless. And I see you guys in the comments being like, oh my god, I'm going to watch this. Do not watch this one. I swear to God, and it is gonna be the French horror found footage film, Descent into Darkness. Girl, why am I recommending this? Mm. This film is about a journalist that arrives to Paris to document the European dream. However, a bunch of bad stuff happens and you basically see him derail into madness. And when I say madness, I mean madness. Some of the stuff that he does in this film, I literally cannot say on here. I can't. Listen, a lot of people either love this movie or hate it. Hate it because of how disgusting it is and love it because of how disgusting it is. The ending was probably one of the most disturbing things I have ever seen. Don't watch this one, skip it. And for my second one, I'm gonna go with one that a lot of you guys were telling me to put in my list. Um, so I'm gonna put it in this list. It is Megan is Missing. Oh, this movie has been talked about a lot, but you guys really wanted it. Which is a webcam found footage horror film about the dangers of meeting strangers online. And when they say that this movie traumatized the nation, this movie traumatized the nation. The very low budget for this film makes it look very realistic and traumatized a lot of people were the final minutes of the movie. I can literally picture those last minutes of the movie because of how horrifying it was. If I couldn't watch Megan is Missing, I really would. I would Don't watch it, save yourself. For my last one, we're gonna go with one that made me feel extremely uncomfortable. I swear, I be careful when you watch this one. It's it's a lot. And it is gonna be angst. Angst is about a sadistic man that gets released from prison. Sadistic meaning getting pleasure from inflicting pain on people. 
that finds his next victims that happen to be an older woman, her pretty daughter, and her handicapped son. But unfortunately mm. live in, I'm pretty sure you can guess, a secluded house. So yeah, he he pops off. He goes off. And listen, it's not just the camera angles and the horrifying imagery that this movie shows, but I also hate that this movie is based on a true story. What? Um, well, I'm gonna be honest, I couldn't sleep after that movie. Do not watch this one. I want you to have peaceful sleep, okay? Don't watch it. Don't do it. Breaking yeah, news, Riley worried. Strain's family now says he was on the phone with his fraternity brothers when he went missing. Riley Strain's family representative has spoken out as well as his father. During this interview, they both confirmed that Riley Strain was in fact on the phone with his fraternity brothers when he went missing. This was confirmed by passerbyers who saw him on speakerphone speaking to his friends. Furthermore, they stated they want to have interviews with individuals who saw Riley that night. They said one individual had an interaction with Riley that they are curious about. They stated that a couple asked Riley if he was going to be driving and that he laughed and said, I can't even walk straight. Furthermore, his family friend and father have confirmed that none of mm. the friends Riley was with that night have reached out to Riley's family whatsoever. They also confirmed that they have not received back the toxicology results and that it could take 6 to 12 weeks. Authorities in Nashville say there is no ongoing investigation to the case. Furthermore, they have ruled it an accident, suspecting no foul play. However, Riley's family says that he did have a belt on that night and that would have prevented his pants from coming off along with his cowboy boots. However, experts have weighed in and said that the current after two weeks could most certainly have taken those clothing items off of him. To stay up to date on this case, make sure you click the playlist below. I'll keep you guys updated. What do Yo, you think? Drop in the comments. The man who leaked this video from the dark web is currently wanted by Russia's biggest mafiosi. Oh, really? This man survived an extremely brutal bear attack, and this is a massive trigger warning. In 2015, Chase Delwell was hunting with his brother in Montana hmm. when a worst nightmare situation happened. He came face to face with a male grizzly bear weighing up to 400 pounds. Chase only managed to walk backwards a few steps before the bear knocked him down and bit him directly on his head. Hmm. After this, he bit Chase's leg and shook it around like a dog playing with a toy. The bear then tossed him in the air and continued to try and bite him. As the bear continued to attack him, Chase remembered a story that he read in a magazine once. And I quote, I remembered an article that my grandmother gave me a long time ago that said large animals have bad gag reflexes. So I shoved my right arm down his throat. Crazy enough, after Chase did this, the bear left and Chase escaped what was almost definitely certain death. Chase's brother then drove him to a hospital where he received treatment for gashes he sustained during the attack. Thankfully, he didn't sustain any life-threatening injuries and went on to a full recovery. But as crazy as it is, if he didn't shove his arm down the bear's throat, he would most likely be dead right now. Luckily, when he did that, the bear just didn't bite off his arm. Thankfully, Chase survived, and this story is absolutely mind-blowing. Yeah. That's probably where they got the idea to that movie with Leonardo DiCaprio, you know what I'm saying? Where he got attacked by that bear and survived. I ain't messing with no bears. I hope I don't never encounter no bear. I wouldn't know what to do. I'll probably just freeze up. I'm going to be bear food or something like that, man. It's crazy. But yeah, these are some of the most scary and creepy and strange TikToks that are out there. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe. Turn your notification bell on. And until next time, YouTube, peace.